Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. That's okay, Joe. We think your reports are great. And speaking of great, some great weather on the way as we go into the afternoon. However, some fog and some cold temperatures to fight through this morning. Here's a look at visibilities, and you can see zero miles. That is your visibility in New Bedford, so not good at all across sections of a 195 between uh, here and the Cape. About a third of a mile visibility in Taunton, New Bedford, or Newport, I should say, has improved to 10 miles westerly at no visibility, zero here. So the bottom line is use caution if you're out there driving this morning within the next couple of hours, we should burn most of this off. Temperatures, well, they're chilly in spots. Taunton 32 degrees, 38 New Bedford. We're 50 in Newport, so milder here, 34 Westerly, 36 Providence. Worcester, though, at 41 degrees, and you're thinking, hmm, why is Worcester warmer than Providence? Well, basically, we have a little bit of what we call a temperature inversion going on right now, some of the colder air trapped at the surface. So Worcester has about 1,000 feet of elevation. They're actually a little above the really cold air this morning, and then pretty soon everybody will get to the 40s as the sunshine even evens things out. All right, wind speeds. Here's your wind speed forecast. As we go throughout the morning and early afternoon, not really that impressive with the wind speeds, but it's wind direction, which will play a key factor in our forecast today. Yesterday, those winds coming in out of the west for a good part of the day. They were light winds, but they were coming in from the west today, more from a south and southeast direction. That brings in some of this cooler ocean air that will limit our heating compared to what we saw yesterday. So instead of mid-60s yesterday, I'm forecasting low 60s today. So still quite mild for this time of year. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 scanning the skies. All we're finding is the patchy fog. No rain to be found. And speaking of rain, here is a look at the chance of showers over the next several days. Quite small today also 10% tomorrow, so most of tomorrow should remain dry. In fact, uh, there's a 90% chance it will remain dry tomorrow. Kind of did the quick math there. All right, as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday, notice the chance of the showers increases. 30% on Tuesday, 50% on Wednesday. In fact, it's Tuesday night into Wednesday where the best chance of some heavier rain will occur. So I should put another bar graph right here to represent Tuesday night with about a 70% chance of showers. And then we drop off the chances on Thursday. About a 20% chance of rain or snow showers on Friday. Friday, but at this point, I'm not putting it on the seven day just yet. Confidence is very low on the forecast for the end of the week, so we'll continue to update you on that. Satellite picture showing some low clouds and the fog trapped over portions of southern New England, but look, it out, look out to our west. Connecticut, Massachusetts bringing in some clearer skies, so I'm expecting mostly sunny skies today. Notice this wall of water out to our west. This will actually miss us. This piece of this complex storm system will miss us to the north, so that's why today and tomorrow should remain dry. There's another piece to this thing that's down to the south. You can't see it, but it's down across the Mississippi Valley. That will take its time organizing and won't really arrive here until we get into Tuesday. As for today, some uh, cool spots, patchy fog through 9 a.m., maybe 10 a.m. Temperatures in the 30s to low 40s. Noontime, though, we break out of that uh, cold air. 60 degrees, 59 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. High temperature, 61. The south shore a little cooler with the southerly wind flow today with the highs in the upper 50s. Coventry gets up to 62 degrees. Into northern Rhode Island, temperatures in the low 60s with 60 in Burville, Cumberland 60, and 62 in Johnston. Eastern Massachusetts temperatures also in the low 60s, some upper 50s along the shore from Middletown into Little Compton. And on the water, visibility poor this morning, improving into the afternoon. High tide 856 this morning, low tide 254 in the afternoon. Seven-day future cast shows some increasing clouds tomorrow but still a mild day, high of 60. Tuesday still mild in the low 60s. Showers developing throughout the day on Tuesday, especially in the evening into Wednesday morning. And then behind those showers, it's much cooler, upper 40s for high temperatures. And again, a slight chance of something developing for the end of the week, but not a big enough chance for me to put the showers in there just yet. But you can see the big difference in temperatures from now through uh, the end of the week. Kind of a downward trend, but not today and not mm. tomorrow. We keep the 60s around. I think you're a pretty popular guy, Pete. <laughs> I, I hope so. That's not always the case. Okay, thank you. <laughs> well, Rhode Island hospitals have ended a long-standing tradition